So hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can take inputs in JavaScript for online judge platforms. Uh, so you might find some of the platforms they do have a boilerplate code or most of them they have a function complete problems. But on some of the compilers, you might not actually get the boilerplate code and you might have to write the code to take the input from scratch. And that is where a lot of people face issues, especially if you're a new uh, programmer in JavaScript, you might not know how to take the inputs in JavaScript. So that's what the purpose of this video is. I will show you how you can take variety of inputs in JavaScript, uh, starting from a simple string. Uh, then I will go into how you can take number inputs, multiple line inputs, and uh, yeah, so on. So like without wasting any further time, let's dive into it. So first of all, whatever input uh, I'm going to take is actually going to be added here. So generally in online platforms, you might get uh, a place where you can just paste in the input and you can run the program to check it. So this is an online compiler which you can use uh, to like the other online compilers as well. But this is the one which I prefer. So first thing which you'll have to do is you will have to take a empty string. So this is where you will store all the input which you will be getting here, right? So uh, you can, um, you first have to declare a variable like this, right? Then Node.js actually has, uh, so this will be actually running uh, on Node.js. So Node.js actually has a process module um, which is used to uh, read the user input. So inside Node.js, there is a process module. And inside of that, this is an STDIN module as well. So, and on that, there is an on function which acts as an event uh, listener. So this will be called whenever it receives any data. So here you will have to pass in this keyword, which is called data. And uh, inside this, it also takes in a callback function and it receives the data in chunks. Chunks, you can think of it as like, it is going to read each and every line one by one, right? So here I'm just going to pass in uh, parameters chunk. And what you will have to do is you'll have to add this chunks to the input variable, which I have declared uh, on the top, right? So for each and every line, you have to add this chunk to the input variable. And once the process ends, like it has read all the lines, for that also you'll have to uh, have an event listener, otherwise it will not execute. So on the end, right? And then they will have to pass in a callback function as well. And this will, run when it has read all the lines and you want to execute the main function. So for that, I'm just having a main function and I'll be calling this function uh, by passing in the input, right? So now uh, let me show you like how I'm getting the input. So for that, I'll have the like, declare the main function and parameters it takes is the input. And here I will just console.log the input to show you like what I'm actually getting here, right? So for the first thing, I will be declaring one, two, and three with the uh, spaces in between. And let's see what do I get in the output. So here you're saying that I'm actually getting the output back um, as it is. So let's say if I uh, have multiple lines of input, let's say on the second line at four and five and six, and then if I run this code, I'm getting the output in the specific format, right? So now what do you have to do to use this uh, in like, of course you cannot use this directly as this because this whole thing is actually a string. Right, so uh, first of all, let's think about like, uh, let's say this one, two, and three are three different variables, A, B, and C, and you have to store it 
in um, a particular string. So, of course, sorry, first of all, let's start with a particular string actually. So, I'm going to just write ABC. This is very simple input. If I just run this, I should be able to get ABC. And let's say there is a problem then in which you receive one particular string and you have to perform operations on that. It's for those kind of scenarios, this might make sense. So, let's say if there are two strings or two inputs, so B, C, and D. And now if I run this, I'm getting A, B, C, and B, C, D as a particular string. Now what I will have to do is I will have to take this A, B, C, and B, C, D and separate them and then you store them in variable. So how will I do that? So as you can see, there is a space character in between. So what I can do here is I can do, uh, so let input array. So first I will split this by empty space and then i will store uh yeah so if i just split this i will actually get the input array so if i do console.log and i'll show you the input array you will see that these two strings are now separated and uh, stored in a particular array and you can store the like the zeroth index in a particular variable and the second uh, index in another variable and then perform your operation. This is how you do it. Uh, if there are three strings as well, it will work the same. Right? So, however it is that you want to split the string, you can do it like this, right? So, that's for one particular line for strings. Uh, let's say if there are numbers. So, let's say there is one, two and three and if I run this, you will see that it is actually running and then uh, I'm actually getting the numbers in the form of strings. So that's not what I want. I actually want them in the form of numbers. What you'll do here is you are actually going to uh, map on these numbers. So, so map uh, on this array, input array, and then you are going to convert each and every number into um, sorry if and every item into a string sorry into a number sorry so you can just pass in number here and it will convert all the string type variables into numbers so now here you can see that i'm getting actually an array of numbers right so that's how you take uh, number inputs i've shown you the string input now i'll show you how you can take multiple lines of input let's say um, there is an array or something uh, five six and then so this is a three by three array let's say and i have to take this as an input right uh, but these kind of scenarios what you will generally do is uh, what i like to do is first of all i like to <laughs> print the input uh, input dot trim so trimming actually uh, removes the white spaces or the empty spaces before the string and after the string and then i will split it by a new line right so if i just console dot log the line you will see right so you will see that i am getting these three lines as three uh, items in my array right so now what i will do is simply i can just run a loop on this right and i can uh, right yeah so i will need a matrix of course a matrix variable in this i will store the matrix and for each and every lines uh, i will push it inside the matrix but before that i will have to do i will select this particular item and then first of all i will have to trim it then i will split it by empty space and then if i do map and then pass in number then what it will do is it is going to split it by empty space. So one, two, and three as strings. And then when I am doing map and then number, then it is going to convert these three things into a number array, right? So now if I console log 
uh, matrix at the end i should be able to see the matrix array right so here you can see this is a 2d matrix and uh, you are saying the number 